In her latest uh, Wall Street Journal op-ed, former Federal Reserve Board nominee Judy Shelton asks, who's to blame for the high cost of living in the U.S. and examines what role uh, the Fed, Congress, and taxpayers uh, play in it. Judy joins us now. She's currently a senior fellow at the Independent uh, Institute. Uh, we had an extended interview there, Judy. I don't know how much time uh, we're really going to have, but I, I, in, in, reading, um, in reading your comments, I agree. There, there were mistakes made. I guess my question at this point is, um, do you think inflation needs to be reined in, even if it causes a recession? Or, I mean, looking back at how it happened, it's maybe the Fed is, is complicit. But at this point, are they on the right track, and is it the only tool that's going to work near term? Supply side issues take a while. Well, I think that a lot of the inflation is already baked into the cake because we know that the what, what the government calls excess savings, but what, what it really means is. $2.3 trillion in government fiscal transfer payments made during the COVID era, a ton of that is still sitting in the hands of consumers. And so they still have spending power. And I think that's the aggregate demand that's putting so much pressure on supply. But if you ask, then, is the Fed taking the right tack? Um, I think their strategy is, is wrong if they think that having slower growth and raising unemployment is going to resolve a problem that's an imbalance between demand and supply. So it takes more than what the Fed is doing. It's not just about monetary policy. And the Fed is complicit. It was also the loose money during the COVID era that propped up the, again, excess savings of households who had financial assets or homes that gained in value because of cheap money. So together with the fiscal mistakes of, of Congress, I think and I think to some extent they continue to pay people not to work. Uh, you're just going to keep feeding um, labor demands and then you get into that wage price spiral. Uh, we really need to, to quit paying people not to work. And it would be good if the Fed didn't use as its primary tool paying higher interest rates on cash held at the, the, on deposit at the Fed to banks and mutual funds, paying them not to make loans. It's, it's the productive loans that would help create more supply. Right. I just, whenever we talk about this, everyone comes to the same conclusion. It's really unfortunate that bad policy, both fiscal and monetary, we're all going to be paying for it. And, and the people that can at least afford it are paying for it now through inflation. And they may pay even right. worse when they lose their jobs, when the Fed orchestrates what they hope is a soft landing, but which, which could be a, a hard landing. But... Even with all that in mind, most people that we talk to say, but it's worth it, but we need to do it. And it's, it's, a, it's not a, uh, you know, it's, it's not a targeted, uh, we, don't, we can't shoot at the bullseye. It's almost like scattershot, and all these other things are going to get affected as we, as we try to cool the labor market, which may or may not uh, respond quickly to, to just hurting demand. So everybody admits it's a problem and says we need to do it anyway. Well, the labor market is a problem in that people don't want to work, but they're being, it's a very logical decision. There was a great new book out by Senator Phil Graham, who used to head Senate banking. And he shows that by comparing um, statistics from the Census Bureau and the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the lowest quintile, the lowest 20% in terms of income earning Americans are consuming twice as much as their income. Well, that's coming from somewhere. And if you can make, he, he figured out you can average $45,000 worth of income by accessing government transfer payments, whether it's food stamps or housing subsidies right. or child tax credits. And I think that's demoralizing for the people who actually make a right. little bit more and are working all day long and right. then end up having to pay taxes. Like that, like